This is Robin on the Road, your concierge for all things travel. And today I'd like to take you on the road with me to Richmond, Virginia, and a tour of Davis Circle at Hollywood Cemetery. Pack your bags, let's go. Please smack that bell and subscribe, and a like or a rumble would be much appreciated. This is part of my Hollywood Cemetery tour map video. Stops in cemetery are located all over and Hollywood is extremely large and graves can be a challenge to find. In an effort for a better visit, this video will deal with the geographic location around Davis Circle. The numbers covered are tour stop 3, 4, 8, 16, and 18, but I will also have you continue up Bellevue Avenue to Randolph Avenue with stops 30 and 15 started in 1847 on land formerly known as Harvey Woods, Hollywood was named for the many holly trees. It's created in a park-like setting. Rather than rows of graves, the paths will cover undulating ground with stunning views of the city of Richmond and the James River. Two major events will change Hollywood Cemetery forever the reburial of our fifth president, James Monroe, and the Civil War. Some of the most beautiful and interesting funerary art is here at Hollywood Cemetery. Popularity soared at Hollywood Cemetery due to the moving of James Monroe's body in 1858. However, the second major event in 1860 will not only change Hollywood, but the country forever, as civil war will break out. And it's here we go to tour stop three and the grave of Jefferson Davis, president of the Confederacy. This is the second reinterment on our tour. Davis was born in 1808 in Kentucky. He attended West Point and was elected to Congress, but resigned to join the Army during the Mexican War. He returned home a hero and was elected Senator, served as Secretary of War under Franklin Pierce, and when the breakout of the Civil War began, he wished to serve as an officer, but instead was elected to the Presidency. Post-war, he will serve in prison for two years and afterward retired to Mississippi where he dies in 1889. He will first be buried in New Orleans, but his body will be reinterred at Hollywood Cemetery in 1893 with so many other of the men of the lost cause. Stop 4 is also located at Davis Circle and is the grave of Fitzhugh Lee. Born in Fairfax County, Virginia in 1835, he is the nephew of Robert E. Lee. Called Fitz, he attends West Point and will become an assistant instructor before resigning to become first lieutenant in the cavalry. By August of 1862, he will be promoted to Major General at the age of 27. Eventually, he will take over, toward the end of the war, the South's decimated cavalry. Elected Virginia governor after the war, Fitz will be one of two Confederate officers allowed to serve in the U.S. military during the Spanish-American War, retiring to write books about his uncle and the war. Stop 8 is the crypt of Virginia Governor Claude A. Swanson. Born in 1862, he will serve seven terms in the U.S. House as Governor of Virginia, U.S. Senator, and also as Secretary of the Navy under Franklin Roosevelt, passing in 1839. Stop 16 is the grave of J.L.M. Curry, Harvard graduate, prominent Alabama lawyer, three terms in Alabama legislature, and four years in U.S. House of Representatives. During the Civil War, he served as a first Confederate Congress and then as Chief of Staff to Generals Johnston and Wheeler. In 1866, he is ordained a Baptist minister and spends his life establishing schools in the South, prodding government for better schools in more rural areas and making his name synonymous with education in the South from 1881 to 1902. Passing in 1903, his statue is one of two in the Alabama capital. 
Stop 18 is the grave of U.S. House Representative and Senator from Virginia, Brigadier General of the Confederate Army at Huntington II. Wounded at Gettysburg and captured at Sailors Creek just days before the end of the Civil War, he will return to law practice post the Civil War, a business that his family will be well regarded for in Richmond for years. This concludes the tour stop graves that are located around Davis Circle. However, if you would like to continue on to two additional stops, number 30 and number 15, continue up Bellevue Avenue where it meets up with Randolph Avenue. Stop 30, the grave of John Randolph of Roanoke, born in 1773 in Prince George County, Virginia. He is educated at the College of New Jersey, Columbia College, and the College of William and Mary. First elected to the House of Representatives in 1799, he will serve in Congress almost continually until his death in 1833. A brilliant and feisty orator, he is feared in Congress. A champion of the Constitution and states' rights, he will serve as ambassador to Russia in 1830, but poor health brings him home, and one brief period in Congress. Congress. Originally buried in Charlotte County, he will later be reinterred at Hollywood. Stop 15 is the grave of Brigade Commander John R. Cook, brother-in-law of Jeb Stuart and son of Union General Philip St. George Cook. He is Harvard educated, often wounded during the war, including a bullet that entered his left eye and fractured his skull, a shattered shin bone, and all wounded seven times. He had an outstanding record. Post-war, he will be one of the founders of Richmond Soldiers Home. This is part of my Hollywood Cemetery Tour Map Stops video that covers the entire cemetery. Additionally, I also have a video on Presidential Circle and the graves close by. Things to know before you go. Hollywood Cemetery is open every day from 8 to 5 with extended hours during the summer. A copy of the tour map may be purchased at the visitor center located at the old church when you first arrive. Bathrooms are also located here. There are tours offered through the Valentine Museum, Segway of Richmond, and the Richmond Trolley. The size of the cemetery makes it almost impossible to see all of the tour map stops in one day. Graves along the road are easy to access, however, those more internal would be a challenge for mobility impaired. Hollywood Cemetery is one of three cemeteries in the nation that has two presidential burials, 5th President James Monroe and 10th President John Tyler. Lastly, I would like to thank you, fellow traveler, for joining me at Hollywood Cemetery and a tour of Davis Circle. I read your comments and appreciate your support. This channel is for you. Please smack that bell and subscribe and show me some love with a like or a rumble. And check out my latest video on the United States Navy Memorial in Washington, D.C. Until next time, this is Robin on the Road, your concierge for all things travel, and I hope to see you out there on a road of your own. Until then, safe travel.